During the year 2002 to 7, while I was serving in the Indian Navy, I had the opportunity to serve in a ship which was gifted to India by the erstwhile Soviet Union. In February 2004, the ship was wrecked by an explosion which was an accidental self-inflicted havoc. The ship was torn into two pieces similar to the Titanic, but fortunately all the 70 odd sailors and officers on board survived the wreckage and returned home safely. Had it been for any other ship, maybe I won't be standing in front of you to say all this. What I am coming to say is about the workmanship of the Russians. But then it was the mighty Soviet Union. Today it is Russia struggling and desperate to enter the league of superpowers with a vaccine stunt. My name is Sinto and you are watching Get Educated. Russian President Vladimir Putin on Tuesday the 11th of August 2020 claimed that they have got the vaccine for COVID-19. The way in which it was announced by Putin was more of a political stunt than an actual scientific development. During Cold War, it was a race to the space and in 2020, it is a race for a vaccine. Results of the research have not yet been published for scrutiny and that has led to a lot of skepticism. And more interestingly, rather surprisingly, they have named it the Sputnik 5 or V which stands for victory. Let me remind you that Sputnik which in Russian language literally means satellite is a name associated with a series of satellite launch vehicles sent to space by the Soviet Union during the Cold War. It marked the beginning of the space race between the Soviet and the US. Sputnik 5 as the West called it became a grand success thereby signaling victory to the Soviet Union over the United States during the enraging Cold War. It was a predecessor to the launch of the first manned mission to space through which Yuri Gagarin became the first human to enter space and eventually was honored as the hero of the Soviet. Now what has Putin done by naming the vaccine as Sputnik 5 is that he is trying to bring back the past glory of the Soviet again. He is very much desperate to reposition Russia as a superpower. Russia has a very strong military, nuclear weapons and one of the largest foreign exchange reserves. But that's it what they have right now and nothing comparable to a superpower. Now Putin wants to tell his people and the western world that he is the one who is going to make Russia the superpower once again. The Sputnik moment was something which each Russian citizen is proud of and today Putin wants to bring back that moment of victory by hastily bringing out a vaccine in 2020. What Putin has done is a safe strategy. If the vaccine fails, he'll simply ignore the failure and move ahead. Putin has nothing to lose and what he is looking for is recognition and revenge. This unprecedented vaccine claim has invited too many criticisms from the skeptical diaspora. New York based virologist John Moore has said that Putin is making a political statement and this is beyond stupid. Daniel Salman, head of vaccine safety at John Hopkins reminds us that a vaccine is not an experimental drug. It is administered to perfectly healthy people so that they don't catch the disease. Such skeptical voices have come from almost every part of the world. But there is one person who strongly supports Putin and he is none other than the Philippines president Rodrigo Duterte. He has gone to the extent to say that he will be the first person in his country to take the first dose of the vaccine. This vaccine was created by a research team at the Institute of Gamaleya, which is a very old prestigious institution started in 1891. This team of scientists, which was headed by Dr. Alexander Ginsberg, worked together with the Russian military of defense and many other prestigious labs in Russia. As per the head of Russian Direct Investment Fund, the RDIF, which has funded this project, the Sputnik 5 is a two-shot vaccine which gives you a guaranteed immunity for two years. Now, every vaccine trial goes through three phases which stretches for a minimum duration of three months. Russia administered this vaccine to a bunch of elite people including one of Putin's own daughters on 18th June. The Sputnik vaccine is yet to clear its final trial. 
The World Economic Forum says an effective vaccine development takes nearly 8 to 10 years. 10 years is not an option given the situation right now. So countries are fast tracking their process. But shortcuts are not an option either. The Russians say desperate times call for desperate measures. When Russia focuses on something, they get it right and produces world class product which is cheap, durable and reliable. Take for example the Kalashnikov or the AK-47 as it is popularly known. There is nothing in this class of assault rifles that is comparable to its reliability and agility. Only thing is that the Russians are economically down after the fall of the Soviet Union and they have their own limitations on investing in bigger projects. 20 countries including India have pre-ordered the vaccine for COVID-19 developed by Russia. It has already received orders for more than 1 billion doses with India being touted as the production hub for the vaccine. The third phase of the vaccine trial is also expected to take place in India. All we could do at this moment of despair is to wait and watch for the efficiency and reliability of the vaccine before getting inoculated ourselves.